And shout out to Kanye West. Everybody needs to leave Kanye West alone. Kanye West was correct. Everything that Kanye West said, it was correct. And that's why he lost a billion and a half dollars in one day because of all the Shylock shills couldn't stand the fact that he called out a 6,000 year old blood cult mafia that traces all the way back to the Ashkenazis and the Khazars. You want to really get technical about this whole thing and what he called out? He called out the Ashkenazis that are related to the Khazarian Mafia. And everybody's more mad at Kanye than they ever would be about a guy who happens to be Jewish, who has an island, who raped and plundered children on it, drank their blood, hung out with all the most elite celebrities in the world, and we're still mad about a dude who called out the Zionist Mafia, which is a very real thing. They drink the blood of their enemies. They're disgusting mongrels. Um, they have cars that not only stop on a dime, they have cars that will go in reverse and pick up the dime, and then they'll sniff it through their nose. Um, Kanye was right. Leave Yeezy the fuck alone. He's more based than you. He's, he's smarter than you. He's done more with his life, and all you can do is be a fat-ass armchair quarterback for Don Lamont and whatever comes out of Brian Stelter's asshole. So reevaluate your head. You want to talk shit about Yeezy because that's like the new cultural thing to do. How about you go talk shit about Epstein? How about you go look into Epstein? How about you go look into election fraud? How about you go learn to shut your fucking mouth when you don't know what you're talking about? I just love being able to come on here and tell you how fucking wrong you are. And to the people who agree with me, kudos. I owe you a beer. And if you don't drink beer, we'll work that out. Maybe I'll buy you a steak or something like that. Come down to Tennessee. I'll take care of you. Um, but anyways, stop ripping on Yeezy. Oh, uh, what? Just because he's a Trump supporter? He doesn't support the big stupid, the big, the big shill media? You know, all these little piglets? that control the flow of information and all the garbage that you consume every day. Garbage in, garbage out. Remember that. All the garbage you consume is what who you're going to become. So if you're mouthpiecing all the lines from the establishment because you can't stand Yeezy because the fucking media told you to feel that way, well, guess what? You need to go to a re-education camp, one where you actually learn common sense, fiscal responsibility, how an, how an economy works, and to stop being a, a blue-haired, libtard, lefty communist. I'm getting really sick of the shit. I moved down to the South from Boston. I moved down to the South to get away from these fucking people. And now they're all coming around here, too, so I'm just going to make you feel unwelcome here, too. You want to be a blue-haired, lefty communist, Roe vs. Wade supporter? I'm going to tell you to move to China. Or I'm going to tell you to move to Germany because the, the Nazi party was the one who actually funded abortion and founded it through a eugenics program. It was all population control. And then it was ushered into the United States by Margaret Sanger. It was called the Negro Project, and it was to kill black babies. That's what abortion was really for. You believe in that because you think you're a beacon for women's rights? You're actually an empty, shell-headed skull fuck. You're, you're a ninny-minded hominid. That's all you're ever going to be. So if you believe in these ideals and shit and you see me in public, stay the fuck away from me because I'm going to buy you a one-way plane ticket to fucking Cuba or China right now. And you better hurry up and make your decision because I'll make it for you. Thank you.